board, and then we will get going this morning. Uh, today we have Fast Lane on the board. All right, so it is groups of three. Okay, the reason for that is because we have three different stations. Okay, our first station is going to be our ISO holds. Okay, it's going to be here on the black mat on the wall. Okay, on the bar. Our station two is going to be our cardio. Okay, it's going to be right in front. Uh, we're going to just be working on keeping those bodies moving. Okay, that's going to be person number two. And then person number three. Okay, this is going to be our travel portion. All right, this portion is we're going to have traveling across the mat. All right, we're going to do the movement and then travel back. Okay, so you'll have one person in our ISO hold, one person on cardio, one person on our travel. All right, the person on travel, okay, you're gonna come over here, you're gonna pick from one of these four movements. Okay, once you pick a place to start, you'll go through the entire rep count. Then once all three of us have gone through every single rep, okay, then we will uh, go to the next movement. Okay, then we'll go through the entire section. Okay, once all three people go through the entire reps, okay, then we'll go on to the next one. Okay, so on and so forth. Does that make sense to everybody? Any questions? Good. Okay. All right, let's go through our ISO holds real quick. Um, we'll move across to cardio, then our travel, and then our movements. For our ISO, okay, anything to do with that isometric hold. Okay, so we have a wall sit. We have a plank. Uh, we have a dead hang from the bar. We have a hold, okay, getting that chin up above the bar. We have a band push down, hold, okay, just holding that down, okay, keeping those triceps flexed out. We have a band pull, okay, so pulling that band and holding it in, all right, et cetera, okay, whatever else. If you have something in mind that you would like to do, all right, feel free, get creative with that. Uh, all right, let's go on to cardio. Our cardio, you can go on a bike, uh, you can go spins on a jump rope, high knees, getting those knees up to that chest. You have burpees, getting that chest down on the floor and exploding up. You have mountain climbers, okay, in a plank position, okay, driving those knees up to that chest, alternating each time. Jumping jacks, hands up over the head. Box jumps, okay, getting up on a box and standing, all right, et cetera, okay. If you have anything else in mind, please do so. Um, and then travel, this is going to be our travel across the mat, all right. So we have plate push, you can get a big plate pushing across the mat um, and pushing it back. Tiny plates, okay, if you have a two and a half pound disc, and traveling across, we have ball toss, up that ball and going up over our head, or you can throw it forward, okay, however you would like. Bag drag, okay, getting nice and low and pulling that bag forward. You can alternate those hands each time. Um, let's see, bear crawl, okay, it, uh, on all hands and feet. Uh, crawling across the mat, cartwheels, okay, uh, seal drag. Oh, yeah. Seal drag, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've seen that one. Anything you would like to do, okay, just to travel across that mat, okay? Again, be creative. Um, all right, let's go through our movements real quick. First one we have is single arm thruster. This is going to be eight each side, so we are going to squat down, okay? And we are going to drive that dumbbell up above our head, okay? Making sure we are dropping the hips, all right? Keeping those knees about 90 degrees, okay? And thrusting that weight above our head, okay? We're going eight on the right, eight on the left, <coughs> each side. Um, let's see, that's going to stay the same. Okay, we're doing eight, eight, and eight on each side. Slider climbers and tucks. All right, we're going to grab sliders. If there's no sliders for you, okay, just grab the two and a half pound disc. But for our climbers, okay, just like mountain climbers, we're going to alternate those knees to that chest. We're just going to slide those feet forward. All right, and then we're going right into 10 slider tucks. Okay, we're going feet together. Okay, so we're going to alternate for 30, then we're going to come together with those knees to that chest for 10. All right, so you have three rounds apiece for those. Single arm row in a bent position here. Okay, we are going to uh, take, good. we're going to take that dumbbell up to the rib cage. Okay, get that good squeeze, okay, in that back. All right, making sure we're coming all the way up. Okay, we don't want to over rotate though as we come up. Okay, that's not gonna work that back like we want. Okay, all the way up to the rib cage, squeeze, okay, and come down. We're gonna go 15 on each side for the first round. Once we all go through 15, we'll do 10. Okay, you can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell, up to you. And that last round is gonna be five each side. So as we go down in those reps, maybe try to increase that weight. And the last one we have is chest fly and close grip press. So we're gonna do 15 chest flies, getting 
nice and wide with those dumbbells slightly in the elbow. Okay, coming up and squeezing that chest, just kissing those dumbbells together as we come up for 15. And then we have 15 close grip press. Okay, so coming all the way down to that center of that chest, coming up and squeezing, being intentional about that squeeze as we come up to the top. Our interval today is five high fives. So after we do our movement, okay, we are just going to find five people and give them a high five, tell them good job. So and then make our way to the next 